Hi, I'm Jason Rich, the author of several books for Q Publishing, including Your iPad at Work, iPad and iPhone Tips and Tricks, and iPad and iPhone Digital Photography Tips and Tricks. If you're a new GoPro Hero 3 Plus user, you've probably discovered that the camera is extremely powerful and versatile in terms of what and where you can shoot video or take pictures. The operation of this camera is very different from a typical point-and-shoot digital camera, digital SLR camera, or digital video camera. I'm about to share 10 tips you can implement when shooting video or taking pictures using the GoPro Hero 3 Plus in order to achieve the best possible results. You've probably noticed that the GoPro camera does not have a viewfinder built in, plus it utilizes an ultra-wide-angle lens, so in general, Whatever is in front of the camera within about a 180 degree field of view will be included within your photos or videos. This is a much broader field of view than what's offered by most other cameras. If you'll be holding the camera in your hands and using it like a traditional point and shoot digital camera or digital video camera, either invest in the optional LCD touch backpack accessory, which is a clip on viewfinder screen, or take advantage of the GoPro app with your smartphone or tablet and use its screen as your viewfinder by establishing a wireless connection between the camera and mobile device. Having a viewfinder available will help you better frame your shots and make sure you're capturing your intended subject in the best possible way. Because the camera itself is tiny, when holding the camera in your hands, it's very easy to accidentally block part of the lens with your fingers. Obviously, you want to avoid this. When you're using an optional GoPro mount and somehow wearing the camera, or you have it mounted on something such as a bike, surfboard, or snorkeling mask, for example, make sure the camera is pointed directly forward and is unobstructed, keeping in mind that the wide-angle lens captures what's to the side and to the front of the lens. Even when using an optional mount to wear the camera, it's essential that the camera be facing forward and not turn slightly upward or downward. To avoid accidentally moving the camera's position while you're shooting, consider using the optional Wi-Fi remote to remotely control the camera so you don't need to touch it with your hands once it's mounted and positioned perfectly. Whether you're shooting HD video or high-resolution photos with the GoPro camera, pay attention to the location of your primary light source. In most situations, you want your primary light source, such as the sun if you're shooting outside, to be positioned behind you, the photographer, and shining evenly onto your subject. If your primary light source is in front of you, the photographer, too much light will most likely be captured by the lens as you're shooting. This will result in unwanted glares or overexposed images or video footage. It's true, the GoPro camera is designed for shooting from a first-person perspective while you're engaged in high-action activities. This typically involves being in motion, which the camera is designed to compensate for. That being said, especially when you're shooting video, try to hold the camera as steady as possible. Otherwise, you'll wind up with shaky video footage. Forward movement, for example, is fine, but try to make the movement as steady as possible without shaking the camera too much from side to side or up and down. Using one of the optional mounts so your camera is attached to your head, body, or your equipment, for example, will help eliminate excessive and unwanted shaking that will otherwise result from holding the camera in your hands while in motion. When manually holding and moving the camera, use slow and steady pans. Again, while in motion and shooting video, you want to avoid shaky or jerky movements. If you're using the camera to shoot from a first-person perspective as you're engaged in some type of activity, taking advantage of the GoPro's ultra-wide lens will be to your advantage and allow you to capture the most visually interesting video footage or still images. However, if you're using the GoPro camera like a traditional point-and-shoot camera or digital video camera, while you're holding the camera and shooting what's in front of you, a different shooting mode and or resolution might be better utilized to achieve the desired results. Keep in mind, when using the GoPro as a digital camera, you can take advantage of the camera's burst photo mode or time-lapse mode. When it comes to shooting video, you can switch between the ultra-wide, medium, and narrow shooting modes, plus there's a ProTune mode which can generate professional quality results. Your GoPro also offers a low-light mode which you can manually adjust, or set to the Auto option so the camera decides when this mode is needed.
Instead of pointing the camera head-on at your intended subject, centering your subject in the frame, and then shooting, take advantage of the camera's ultra-wide-angle lens and small size, and shoot your photos or video from an unusual angle or perspective. You'll wind up with more visually interesting shots or video footage if you shoot from an angle, such as from below, above, or to the sides of your intended subject, or at an angle, as opposed to from a head-on perspective. In other words, try to keep your intended subject out of the dead center of the frame, and try to avoid shooting from a head-on perspective. The GoPro camera is great for shooting photos or video in, around, or even underwater, but to do this you need to prepare your camera. In addition to choosing the right shooting mode, it's essential that you place the camera within the appropriate housing that's designed for the climate you'll be in. The camera itself is not waterproof. It's the clear housing you lock the camera in that makes it waterproof. However, not all of the GoPro housings are designed for underwater submersion. Choose the appropriate housing based on whether the camera will be exposed to light rain, submerged in just a few feet of water while snorkeling or surfing, or submerged deep underwater while scuba diving, for example. If you're shooting at a beach or taking photos while you're going in and out of the water, it's important that no drops of water remain covering the lens as you're shooting. Otherwise, you could wind up with unwanted dots or smudges in your shots or video footage that are caused by water drops covering the lens. A memory card does not come with your GoPro camera. When choosing a micro SD memory card to use with your GoPro camera, there are two things to consider, its capacity and its read-write speed. If you plan to shoot a lot of HD video, these files will take up a lot of storage space, so a memory card with a large capacity, say 64 or 128 gigabytes or larger, will serve you well. The larger the capacity of the memory card, however, the higher its price will be. Meanwhile, the read-write speed of the memory card will actually impact the camera's performance and speed. This determines how quickly image data that's captured by your camera can be saved to the memory card. Choose the fastest read-write speed you can afford. However, the faster the read-write speed, the more expensive the memory card will be. To get the most use out of your camera, always start your day shooting with a fully charged battery and have at least one or two extra fully charged batteries on hand so you can keep shooting once the original battery goes dead. To extend the battery life when using the camera, turn it off when it's not in use turn off the Wi-Fi feature, and refrain from using the optional LCD touchback backpack except when it's actually needed. Also, shooting in extremely cold temperatures or using the camera's ProTune feature will reduce battery life. You can purchase extra genuine GoPro batteries or save money by purchasing compatible batteries from third parties which are available from online vendors. For example, visit the nexttag.com price comparison website and enter GoPro Hero 3 Plus replacement battery into the search field in order to find companies that sell less expensive but fully compatible batteries for your GoPro camera. Before you start using your GoPro camera to capture those once-in-a-lifetime shots or videos that can't easily be replicated if you accidentally miss a shot or operate the camera incorrectly, invest some time and practice using the camera in a wide range of shooting situations. Get to know how the camera works, how to navigate your way around the camera's buttons and menus, and how to quickly switch between shooting modes, for example, without having to fumble too much. Also, become comfortable using the camera with its interchangeable housings and optional mounts and never forget to incorporate your own creativity when framing your shots and choosing the best shooting angles or perspectives. You'll achieve the best results once you know how to operate the camera and simultaneously incorporate your own creativity into your shooting. I'm Jason Rich. Thanks for watching.